Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're gonna talk about object permanence. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about object permanence. Object permanence is the concept of a thing still existing even if you can't see it. And you know I tease psychologists a lot about being really bad at naming things, but this is one they got spot on. The object in object permanence has to be a physical object, so something that's there. Permanence, because the object itself is stable, solid, whether or not you can see it. There is a certain section of the human population that has trouble with object permanence arguably our cutest section, babies. Object permanence appears to be either something that we learn or a skill that we develop, possibly as young as three months, but typically by the age of two. Being able to understand that objects still exist, even though we can no longer see them, is a critical developmental skill. And it also helps us understand infant behavior better. For instance, it's a lot easier to understand why a baby might cry when left with a stranger. To them, their parent or caregiver is gone. Once they're out of sight, they simply cease to exist. If your family members or loved ones just blinked out of existence one day, you'd be pretty freaked out too. It's actually fairly easy to tell when a child starts to develop object permanence. They will begin looking around for things that they want to find. They will lift or move other objects that might be covering the object that they want. For instance, moving a blanket that's covering a favorite toy, or even trying to move your hands away from your face if they want you. That's right, object permanence is why peekaboo works. Now, it's important to separate here that object permanence and losing or forgetting things are not the same. There is a fairly well-repeated myth out there about people with ADHD saying that they lack object permanence. For our long-term viewers out there, you know that we here on Psy vs. Psy respect the neurodiverse community, and so if we could take just a second to try to dispel a source of misinformation out there, there is no scientific support to the claim that people with ADHD lack object permanence. People with ADHD may sometimes forget where exactly a certain object might be, but they don't just forget that it exists. For instance, um, maybe they have trouble remembering exactly where they parked their car, but that doesn't mean they think that their car disappeared. Two entirely different things. As far as scientists currently know, the best population with which to study object permanence is that young child or infant population, so that we can get a better understanding of just why object permanence is so critical. If you want to know more about the permanent things in your life, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! Still here. Permanent.